What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday because today is the best day of the week because today is Snap-on Friday. Hamilton's out here so let's see what he's got. You guys, come on. Uh-oh, the big green box is gone. Yeah, we unloaded it. Somebody had a good, good week. So everybody was asking about the part number on the toy set. There you go, SSX18P114. Cool rig. That is, it's pretty neat right there. Yep. If I was eight year old, I'd be tickled to death to get that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably be, I'd probably be happy to get that now. To be honest with you. <laughs> put that up, to put it together in the living room. Yep. Show sure enough. Friends come over. Like, Who's that? That's mine. Don't That's touch it. Yeah. Look, you can play with it. Make sure you put it back where you got. It. <laughs> Wipe the tools off when you get done. <laughs> Clean them up. They had a customer he was looking at. It. I thought he was on that buying it. He's like, he said, my son will really enjoy that. He said, I don't think he's old enough for it. I said, how old is he? He said, eight. I said, you only got to be three. He said, no, nah, he gets mad and he'll be throwing them up my TV and stuff. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I probably wouldn't buy it for him. Yeah, yeah. He might need to stick with Nerf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I, he, uh, a couple weeks ago his kid was there. I can't remember what it was going. Maybe it was off or something. And he had a Nerf gun. He's in there shooting the guys with a Nerf gun. Yep. That one dude, he's like, if he'd leave, I'd throw a wrench at his damn kid. <laughs> <laughs> he said, that kid's mean. <laughs> what they should have done is put him on the creeper. Yeah. Let him lay down on the creeper, and he could have piddled himself around on the floor. And that would have kept him busy. Or zip tie him to the creeper where he can't get up. <laughs> zip tie his arms up. <laughs> You're going to have a child abuse hotline <laughs> ringing. DHS or whoever it is will be uh, give me a call. Well, did you get any cool new tools in? Uh, no, I got a couple boxes. I just ain't had time to go through everything yet this week. You got and any of those new pliers that they come out with? I hope I do. They're pretty neat. Yeah, that's pretty sharp. Yeah, I seen the uh, video that Snap-on released on the other day. Yeah, they, they well, pretty much like got a, me with that video. That little slip joint pliers, that's yeah. pretty neat. Their marketing team. They're pretty good. They know how to install that want in every guy, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, Step on should make a video and uh like that and air it on the Cartoon Network and that way, you know, instead of waiting until you're grown to get you hooked on yeah, it, they start, go ahead that's and good start, idea right there. start at age three. Might pass that up the line. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all's retirement fund. That's you know. funny. Yeah, so put it on the yeah, Disney channel or yep. something, whatever the kids watch. I don't yeah, know. They could show them little play sets on there and that start it right there. Start the bug. <laughs> Cause my kids, they don't watch no cartoons. I guess you'd have to put it on TikTok for them or something. <laughs> have a wrench twerking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that deer, that deer right there. Was y'all killing deer? No, me or my boy, neither one of us did. I, we didn't even see anything. A buddy of mine, his little boy did. He's eight. Uh, big old doe, so he was super excited. That's good. He yeah. saved a Prius? Yeah. He's a... Uh, that's actually his second one of the year. He's a killing machine. That's what I'm talking about. His daddy, he stays on him all the time. He's like, son, you like bigger deer, you know? Like, we want a buck now. He's like, nah, daddy. If it's, if it's a deer, I'm shooting it. I don't care. Those eat just as, yeah. they actually eat better. Yeah, well, it I didn't help that, like I said, the <laughs> local game warden, he came up there, he eat with us and stuff the other night. And, uh, of course, he, uh. Did get him to drink a beer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he came up off the clock. He came up to off the clock. Him and his son and everything. Yeah. They hunt with us every now and then. He'll bring his son up there and hunt with us. And then uh, he told him, he's like, heck yeah, he said, shoot all of them. You know, that's what mm -hmm. he told that little boy. So now he thinks, like, since the game warden said he got to shoot all of them, he, yeah. he thinks he got to shoot all of them. You do it till your freezer's full, then you start getting picky. Yeah. Yeah, yep. no doubt. For sure. Man, I figured you'd have sold that little butane. Solder Everybody iron. in the world looks at it and thinks it's a great idea, but ain't nobody jumped on the last one yet. Because they know the minute they buy this one, they'll come out with it 
two weeks from now that's going to have a magnet on the back because I said something on video about it. <laughs> be on both sides now. <laughs> <laughs> that way uh, it'll stick on whatever you're working on. Yeah. Then they, in the, about six more months, they have it on all four sides. That way it don't matter. You just, <laughs> just, just chunk, it. <laughs> chunk it. Stick it to the fender of the car. What's the blue point kit? This is what a, uh, like a snap ring fire suit, but you can swap everything out in them. Oh, yeah, that's got the changeable tips in it. The yeah. 45s and the 90s. And yep. They lock. I don't know. Operator air? Yeah. Or tool air? No, nah, it'll be operator air for sure. There we go. Yeah, now we're going the other way. That's nice that you don't have to take them apart. Yeah, to do all that. That's such a pain in the ass to have to pull that. I know it's something simple as unscrewing that little bolt and well, they, switching the handles. Our new ones but, don't have a bolt on them. You seen them, ain't you? Uh uh. And these are all lifetime warranty too. The case too. Ah, well, I'm sure. It's, yeah, I think the whole kit shows lifetime warranty. I know somebody was asking me about that the other day. Said they wanted to get somebody a socket set for Christmas. Yeah. That was in the case, and I said buy a blue point. And they said, well, I could buy a Tecton. Or, I said you can, and and you can. Yeah. They'll work. They'll work fine. Yeah, take them, but make when some you fine bust tools. that damn case, yeah, they, your sockets is everywhere. Where a blue point, you just you get a new case. Yep, Tecton and GP, both of them. Mm -hmm. Man, I got guys that order both of them, but yep. I don't think the cases are warranted on them. I've They're never heard anybody ask. But yeah, here's our other snap ring pliers that are just push button now. Ah, oh, so you don't have to unthread it. Mm -hmm. Do that one more time. Look at there. I'll be there. So you suckered me on that big set that I bought from you. Then they come out with something fancy like that. Yeah, we can trade yours in though. <laughs> trade with you like you never no had. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Them things that go from four hundred dollars to one hundred and fifty. Like that's all they're worth now. You know they done been titled. You done drove it off the lot. <laughs> yeah, you lose seventy percent of the value. You done drove it off. Or you done towed it. Not be. You done carried it off the truck. Now it's used. But but I ain't even tore the plastic open. Yeah, but that factory smells going out of it now. <laughs> that smells new, like a shop. That smells. new tool truck smells never on there again. <laughs> smells like a like a grease rag now. <laughs> oh mate, that's funny. Well. What you got traded in down there in the red box? That's a Chrysler harmonic balancer puller. You can also use these on the LS engines too. This is OEM brand. Yeah. Um, I paid entirely too much for these on trade in because I didn't do my research, but it is what it is. I give a fella 50 bucks on these towards some new ones. These things only 30 bucks brand new. Dang. You want me to go get another set I can run across the street auto zone? <laughs> we can trade him four or five of them real quick. <laughs> but, run uh, over and buy a set yeah. at auto zone get fifty dollars back on it. <laughs> and it's missing the long pin too, but uh oh. Ah, well, it is what it is. That ain't a good thing. Somebody said that they was on if it's still here after the first year, they was on to buy it for some weld art. He said he wanted to get into doing some weld, weld art. Weld art? Okay. Hey, I like that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, the master of weld art, probably in the YouTube community, is Jay Young. Oh yeah, most definitely. That son of a gun could take a propane tank and have that thing oinking in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you seen my little wrench holder I got yeah. in there, made out of a snap-on ratchet. A little dude taking a leak, Cut holding up. business cards. <laughs> Pretty good. Hey, uh, hey, Jay Young made some cool looking stuff. Yeah, yeah. Snap-on toolbox sink that he made. I got that, uh, he made me an owl out of a shovel that's on my back porch. That's, oh, yeah. That's probably my most prized possession. Like, that thing is <laughs> perfect. So I wanted it to rust. So I carried it out there and, and made sure it got wet several times. All of the, like, the the wing tips is made out of a hay cutter blade. Oh, you know, that's the old, Like, sickle style. And uh, all of them rusted but one. So he's got one bright silver and I don't know why that's the only one that ain't rusted. So I think I'll have to spray it with some lemon juice or something try it again. But. Hit it with the grind and rough it up or something. <laughs> yeah. But I was going to let it rust over and then clear coat it, you know. Cause oh, yeah, it's looking good. It's, it's sharp, man. He did a good job on it. But. <laughs> yeah, lemon juice or... 
I, I seen somebody did like made tin look vintage. We'll go buy that old economy tin, like at Lowe's or Home mm-hmm. Depot. And I think they spray like pickle juice or something on them to uh, make it rust real fast. That's like the going thing. You know, we had a guy come by that old barn that we had that my granddaddy built like in the 30s. Yeah. It may have been earlier than the 30s. It was, no, it was probably in the late 20s, early 30s. But a guy come by and it was all that corrugated metal like that, you know, but it was all rusted. He had a crew that would come by and replace your tin. He would pay you and have his guys take that tin off and put brand new tin back on it. The, uh, so my granddad's like, mm, you sure about this? He's like, yeah, we'll get, I think it was like $800. And then they replaced every bit of it with brand new tin, screwed down the whole nine yard. He goes, them idiots is that dumb. Let them come have it. Cause I mean, yeah. But he sold it and they used it in like restaurants. They put it on ceilings inside of restaurants. I bought 77 pieces from a customer of mine that he had a, uh, just a one stall shop. And now he got a, I mean, he built a new shop, bigger shop, right there, over included that one stall, made it just a lot bigger. And I bought all his old tin. And that's what, uh, I got some lady supposed to come look at it, I think in two weeks, for every bit of it. That she does a, uh, has the boutique in Sotella and one in Chippewa. Oh, she's wanting it for decoration. And she said that they're wanting to build another one, another boutique somewhere. I don't know where it's going to be at. Mm-hmm. And uh, my wife knows somehow or another, and she's asked her about some old tin. That's my wife asked right me, right and man, I was like, man. yeah, I got some. <laughs> she didn't even know I had it. So. <laughs> that stuff's hot right now. Yeah, though. I don't know how much it's worth to them, but I know that a lot of them places pay real good money for yeah. Now, I think that's I paid a, $2 a piece for them. I think I paid. That's another reason why you should subscribe to this channel. You, I mean, you get you, all kinds of You get snap-on knowledge. tools, deer hunting stories. We went from, you know, decorating man caves, <laughs> like... Weld art, like it's a little bit of everything. Well, that's well the main reason I bought it because we're we're doing the upstairs of our house, and uh, that's what I'm like. Well, the goal was to make that like my the main cave, or yeah. put my gun safe and everything up there until I got my gun safe, and come from the carport into the house is only four steps. Well, it took four Man, guys that to get that damn gun safe. To realize it yeah. needed to live downstairs. Hi, dang son! <laughs> I, I thought you back out and everything else too, trying to get that gun safe up there. Yeah. And we got it up there, and my buddy's like, we don't take it up there? I said, hell no, we ain't taking that something up there. <laughs> it needs to go in the bedroom. That's a yeah. more logical place for it in well, the we, bedroom. We got an extra bedroom, so that's where I got put at. My wife come home, and she didn't like that idea, but I said, hey, it is what like, it is. Go ahead and just move it then. Yeah, move what, it wherever you want to, baby. So I told you, you get your friends over here and come move that thing, see what you... Get her a bottle, two bottles of wine. So y'all have a y'all have a safe moving party. They, yeah, they probably ripped the door off that thing. Probably. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's going to be the video this week. Like always, be sure to subscribe because you never know what you're going to see on this channel. <laughs> Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here, and hit that thumbs up. Click that subscribe button now you gotta just take your finger and press that button y'all have a great week and we will catch y'all next time see ya